Hello and welcome back to Hof Bergman. Right, so we've got quite a few things that I want to do in this episode. And hopefully we can get them all done. First thing I want to do is... I'm going to go sort these cows out from the last episode. We're going to go and try make sure we inseminate all of them so they're all carving. So that's going to be my first task. So I have pretty much got a better idea now of how to do it. I've done a little bit of research. So hopefully this is going to work out. So I am sure that everyone's enjoying this map that's downloaded it. They've probably realised how, yeah, how unique this map is now. Um... I know there's been a lot of interest. I should probably move that first. Might be a good idea because I do need to get to that trigger. So yeah, there's a few things I definitely want to do in this episode. I want to try and get some of the stuff done. That um, yeah, we can kind of just start getting through all the new features. Now there is the new crop type that I was talking about, Silphy, which uh, yeah, looking into it, it's it's basically like maize in a, in effect. So it kind of looks like long sunflowers. Um, if I just quickly show you on the map, there is a field over here growing as field 11. So I am thinking of buying that just so we can actually do some harvesting in it. Now it is going to be a forage harvester job. Bring it back to the pit and all that. We could do bales from it, but you'd have to put it into this little area over here, which is that there. You'd have to tip it in and then go across with the baler. And you then you can do either maize bales like that, or you can do the silphy bales. Now... Silphy bales technically is maize. It's maize silage, really. Um, another really good thing is you can actually drop TMR in here from a trailer and bale off TMR. So you should try that because you can... If you go into the menu for bale storage, the placeables, you can obviously have the round ones. Like, we've already got one of them on the farm, uh, but you can have straw round. You can even have the maize straw, which, look at the texture of that, is really unique, properly realistic. And then you've obviously got your round uh, storage for silage, so grass, and maize, slash silphy. So you can even put maize and or, or silphy bales in there. Um, and then just normal forage bales. So these are the TMR bales. So you could, like I said, you can put a placeable down like this and you can start bailing off TMR. And then, yeah, put it into the into the uh, storage area and you've got it at hand then instead of mixing it up. Even though it's pretty easy to do, there's a lot of feed mixes around, the, around on, obviously, on the map. There's the one that I've used, but there's also a bigger one that we will be getting to as well. You've also got straw, square bales, and hay, square bales. And again, maize straw and square bales. Um, yeah, grass and square bales, maize and silphy and square bales, forage again in square bales. So there is quite a lot. There used to be a compact baler for the compost. You could actually bale that, but it seems like that's been taken out, and I think you now have to take it as a loose product. So we will be getting through into some compost eventually on this series. Uh, but I have got an aim, yeah, to, to crack on with some of the stuff, especially the animals, get them all set up, and then we'll move on to probably something else, maybe a bit of harvesting of one of the crops, just so we can, yeah, get a field spare, because I do need to grow some potatoes at some point, and I am thinking of maybe using field 5 for that, as it's quite small, we don't really need a big field, either field 1 or 5, 8.9, 7.45, so it would make more sense to probably go into field 5, so what I'm going to quickly do now is I'm going to actually buy field 11 while it's growing. So we've got that sorted because it's not quite ready yet. If we just have a look, you can see all these are ready to harvest. But field 11 isn't quite there yet. So anyway, let's crack on with what I was intending to do originally, which is to get these cows sorted out. So in the last episode, you probably noticed that I had half my cows with a red mark on, which means they're carving. So they're basically inseminated. They've got... Calves on the way, um, and as soon as they're ready, we'll see it. some calves appearing here, and then we can obviously go on to the next stage. But right now, there's five that aren't, so we need to sort out how to inseminate them. And to do that, I need to get in my tractor. Now, you can use the single trailer for this. There is one already on here. If we just go... In fact, I'll show you in the menu. It might be easy to do it that way. Um, there isn't one already down on the bullying yard as I'm calling it or your meat, your meat herd or even your breeding balls anything like that um, and if you go to I think I'm actually might be in the wrong section for this I think I am it's going to be on animal transport where's that there we go so there's one of these already down the 18 mini so you can obviously hold a cow at a time a duck at a time um, goats and so on sheep yeah so 
really handy if you want one of them. Obviously, you can use a different type, but this this one's already there. But I'm going to be using this because I've got it on the farm already. So what we want to do is grab the five that aren't carving. So we're going to put them into our uh, trailer, animal transport trailer, and then we're going to pretty much go to the blue cage at the front that I was uh, messing about with on the last episode. Now you do have to do this every time, especially if you haven't bought them in the state of carving. And then as they have carved, they're obviously going to be, you're going to have to do it anyway. So yeah, it is a, is a must, let's say. So what you want to do is pretty much go onto the right hand side as I'm looking at it now, the cage. And you need to make sure it's open, which it is. So this is the lever here, that's closed, that's open. Now, if you can see the vial, and obviously the insemination pole, let's say, and you know you've obviously put some of the bull semen into into the uh, little vial. So if you do, if you haven't got the vial there, that means you need to get some bull semen and put it just next to it here, and you'll see that it tops up. And then what you want to do is get your tractor, tell them that you want to unload one of the animals, and as you'll see now, one of the most craziest things I have seen in FS19. The vet's appeared, and he's inseminating the cow, and the cow's... Yeah. Let's just say it's... It's, um... Experiencing... A shock to its system, let's say. So, what I'll do, this will continue for a little bit of time. Don't know the exact time, I haven't, um... Yeah, tried to track it. I just know that I tried tried to look it up and I figured it out. So we need to do this with each one of the animals. And eventually a red cross will go onto the side of the cow when it's done. And then we can, and the vet will disappear. That's what it did last time. And then I can move on to um, doing the rest of them. So yeah, quite, quite a little bit of a big job, but it, I like it. It's realistic. This is what happens, you know. It's not just generic happening now in the game or automatically. Um, you do have to go through the time and effort of obviously getting the, the bull semen. Uh, the vet comes, obviously transporting it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, dead, it's deadly interesting. I really do like the, the realism to this. Um, I don't think anyone can, de can deny how, yeah, how impressive this is. It really is. Right, so while he's doing that, he kind of goes through a loop of doing it. You'll see the animations just keep going. Um, we'll go and do what I want to do on the actual breeding or the bull yard. Um, so we'll quickly just jump over and I'll just quickly talk you through what my plan is. Um, so there's obviously three pens. This one here is for breeding bulls. You've got the calves section here. Uh, the other two are for young bulls. So that's going to be for meat, like basically for meat packages and meat in general. So we do want to yeah, try and grow some kind of herd with that to make a bit of cash. Um, also, something else on this map is when you start this area and you buy this area, the amount of silage you have and straw, it's insane. Look at this straw here, it's all full up. There's 90 bales. And if I've counted right, there's one, two, three, four, and I think there's a fifth round here of silage bales already stacked up. So you've definitely got enough, definitely, to, um, to crack on. The only thing you haven't got on here is hay. So it's something if you did want to use the TMR mixer just there, which I will show you in a second, you probably want to get some hay. Now, saying that, it actually might be a good idea to pop in some storage for hay while we've got the chance. So if we go to bale storage, and I'm probably going to do hay in square bales, I'm going to grab one of these for 100. Completely jumped over to that side of the map. Let's just go and find our bearings again. Should be over here. And what I'm thinking is, plonking one of these just here. Now I think that looks pretty good there. Straighten it up a bit. So, now we could put two if you really wanted to. We may as well. I can't put it there though because that's where I'm going to spout it into the uh, trailer. There's a nice open area there. We'll keep one at the moment, but I think that's enough. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, and five. 
storage for bales, silage, and there's so much already. There's also this big pit for slurry that is part of the um, pretty much this area when you purchase it. I think that might be a bunker as well. So you've definitely got enough going on in this area, definitely. So let's buy some equipment. We're going to need some. We're also going to have to buy some cows, but I think we're definitely going to need a tractor here. Also a trailer to cart around the feed. Uh, mucking out as well. I might muck out instead of using a wheelbarrow. I might just go in with some kind of like front loader. So what I'll quickly just do is I'll grab all the equipment, place it here so we've got it going forward. Right, so there we go. I've got a trailer that's going to be used for feed. I think it was about... 24,000 litre capacity, which I think is perfect. Got a fence, really nice modded fence. Uh, the fence, is it 820? I think it is the fence 820 Vario, as you can just, whoa, as you can just about see with me doing the, some bobbing up and down. Yeah, so it's a good, nice modded tractor. And I've also gone with this absolute beast for straw. So this can hold, I think it can hold maybe 12, I think. No, I think it holds eight, sorry. I can't count at all. It holds eight. Uh, but it's really cool because it opens up and then you can put your straw bales on each side and yeah, it just holds a good, you know, capacity for um, yeah, blowing some straw basically. So this will come in handy. And then I've also gone with you want to just make out a bucket. And as you can probably just make out there, I have gone with a front loader for this and also a bucket and then a bale spike. So got everything we pretty much need there just turn that around pretty pointless but it felt right Let's see if we can get hooked up to this there we go look at that nice we do need a rear weight but we'll get to that next and what I'll do with this was we're probably not going to be using this straight away I did want to buy two and then I was thinking should I get two uh, one for manure and one for feed. We don't really want to be mixing that, let's be honest. But then I thought, nah, we'll get one for the minute until we actually have got enough manure to justify it. And what we'll do is we'll plonk that there, ready for when we're going to be doing some TMR. And I'll quickly just show you this because it is pretty cool. Dead simple. You go up to the menu, it'll tell you what it wants. So you can even put silage in, which is even maize, or grass, or silphy. And you can put straw in and hay, and then you basically get your standard mixing ratio. Um, and you just have to pretty much turn it on, but make sure that uh, if you open the F1 menu, you'll see the control. So you can open the bale lattice, which is basically the thing at the top. And if you just quickly just watch, so as soon as you open that, it means you can just obviously add your bales in. Bit of realism. And then obviously, all you need to do then is pretty much just turn it on, but we can't do that because we've put nothing in it. Uh, so I think that'll do. So the, the, obviously the next things we need to do is get some animals down here. So I'm going to go and quickly do that. Hopefully the man's finished doing the insemination, but he hasn't. So he's obviously, must be like over an in-game, probably two hours, I'd say, if I was going to guess. But we haven't got a cross yet. Um, what I might do is I might actually lease out something here because I don't want to move that. So if we just quickly run to the shop... Or fly over to the shop, teleport, whatever you want to call it. I'll grab a tractor and then I'll also lease out a trailer. So I think I'm actually going to get 10 cows, five for each pen that's going to be from the meat, meat uh, so the young bulls. And then I'm going to get one breeding bull and we can try and breed some of them as well. Uh, it can happen, but it's not like what you've just seen with the insemination. They just naturally multiply like they would uh, within seasons or without seasons. Uh, so yeah, let's try and get 11, but we obviously need the equipment to do that first. So let's go and sort this out. So I have leased out this. This is um, this is compatible with what we're trying to do. So just so you know, you do need to get the right trailer if you're going to cart some animals. So we've obviously got this one on the farm, as you can see. Just there it says one, meaning that we own one version of this. Now these are the ones that are obviously compatible with the type of animals we're getting, which is technically like either the breeding bull, sh uh, the sheep, ducks and goat it does say so yeah keep that in mind so i've gone with this one which does hold six cows so to do what we want to do we're going to have to do two trips here so let's crack on now i have bought it second hand as you can see the maintenance on it's already really low because 
I think I've got a lot of money. I don't want to kind of start properly with this money. As soon as I've got everything set up, I am going to, yeah, put my money somewhere realistic so I can actually have, you know, something to work towards. But I do want to, I don't want to hinder myself or restrict myself from doing anything uh, of the new features because I haven't got the money. So I am going to get everything in place so I can do all that stuff. And then, yeah, we'll get rid of the actual excess money to a more reasonable amount. So I'm wondering if I can actually mix young bulls with a breeding bull. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... I don't really want the black and white ones because we're going to go for a, like a meat breed. Now I think usually a meat breed would be any of these three really. I do like the brown, so I'm going to get these. I think that makes... Yeah, it makes more sense to do that. Now I'm sure the young bulls are for... The young bulls are definitely for meat, and the breeding bulls aren't. So, obviously, we can't inseminate them, though, I'd imagine. But we might be able to put some cows down there, just normal male cows. I don't know how it'll work. I'd have to look into it as we go. Oop, I didn't actually do that. Let me just rectify that. Right, so there we go. We've got four cows, and that's all we can actually get with that. So that's the pretty, um, yeah going to take a few trips to get the required amount. I did want five of each and a breeding bull. So we best get on our way and try and sort this without getting any speeding tickets. Now, I don't think there is a speed cam around here, so we should be all right. There is a speed camera just there. I have already been flashed as well. They've put a new place for a speed camera so I have been flashed and I got 580 pound yep that's how much they charged me 580 quid it was a sneaky place as well so definitely watch out for the speed cameras so I think if it's anything like the other ship the trigger technically should be here now I think that this one Hopefully, will be the right one. Nope, this is for breeding bulls. So let's try again. And let's go and put the brown ones in here. And we'll probably get some black ones after for the other location. And what I might do is, uh, as soon as I've done this, I'll jump back over to the uh, main farm and sort out the second cow for insemination. Right, so I finally found the trigger. It's this gate here. So let's pop these in. There we go. Now we got some young bulls. I'm really happy. Got a nice open area. So all we need to make sure we do is give them some feed, but we will do that at some point. So let's just have a quick look at the actual feed and all that stuff. So where are we looking for? We're going to be looking at yeah, the Young Bull Stable 1, 4, which isn't too bad. So they do need normal food, a bit of manure coming off them, slurry coming off them, but they do need straw and obviously some silage, which we can do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump back and we'll get everything sorted out with the uh, second cow. Right, so I've just popped over here. I had to skip time a little bit. It's now 1 o'clock. It does take quite a while. So that's the cow done, as you can see. Um, got obviously a red cross on it so what we need to do is obviously move this and out over to the other side I mean if you've got a massive herd of cows milking cows this is going to take you some time it really is but I do like it it's quite realistic so there we go we've got one more sitting in here I mean, what you could do is if you wanted to be a little bit more streamlined, you'd have two trailers on the go. One to empty, one to load. There we go. So if we just quickly swing this around. We're going to be using this area next. Pop that up. Now you can see there's no vial there, so bring it over there like I've done. 
and he'll crack on to the second cow. Now, I don't kind of want to leave these cows in the trail. I don't know how it works, but I, I remember if you leave them in for too long, it's not healthy for them, so it's probably a safe bet that I uh, don't do that. And so what I'll quickly do is just drop off these cows and we'll pick them up again one by one when we need to. And there should be one of them that's carving. So as you can see, that one's carving now, which is good. Did I not do that? I'm sure I did that. I might have pressed the wrong button. Livestock trailer. Confirmed. There you go. I didn't press the right button. So I'll just quickly park this up here and then we'll go and carry on with sorting the cows out. Now what I am actually going to do is I'm actually going to just try and progress through a little bit more quicker. So I'm going to actually buy these in. So we're going to need breeding bull stable. We're going to want one breeding bull. There we go. We're also going to want to go to young bull stable three. Now that hasn't got any in. So I want to go for the black ones and we're going to go for five. And then we're also going to go to the other breeding, young bull breeding, which is young bull stable one. Should have four in already, and it has, and we'll add one more brown. There we go, job done. Yes, it's obviously cut corners, but like I said, as soon as the series properly starts, where I've got everything in place and uh, the money's set to a reasonable amount, well, I'll be definitely a lot more realistic, and I'll probably set up auto drive at the same time. So if I do need to go and do something like this, I can just set an auto drive up to go and pick up some animals, bring it back. Now, I'll tell you one thing, this map will be really good for auto drive. There is a lot of easy access points. A lot of the cell points are really good to drive through. It shouldn't be tricky at all. So let's have a look. We can return that back now. We don't need that. But let's have a look at our cow. So they're obviously in dire need of some food. So we should probably make that a priority. So if I drop out six here, probably drop the bucket off as well. So in this one just in front of me where the bales are, there will be, or there should be, the black, breed, uh, the black young bulls should be in there, and the one near the actual pen where the breeding bull is should be in there. So, whoa! I'm hoping I can just push that and nudge that now. There we go. So we've got full food. I will put two in each one just to keep them happy for a bit. There we go. So let's have a look at the first one just to make sure everything's sound with that. They do need some more straw over there. So they've got silage. Only need a thousand, which is good. And these need the same. So what I'll quickly do is I'll quickly just go and feed all the cows, get them all fed, and then probably spread some straw as well. I think that'll be a good idea. And uh, we'll go and have a look at the breeding bull. There we go. So that's just sorted that out. So now we should be able to spray some straw throughout these pens. And they probably don't want that much to be honest because there is only five cows um, especially the breeding bull but at least they're all happy at least they're all fed we can start making some money from the meat because this is what this area is for it is literally for making meat making money from meat obviously Wow, that 
takes a lot of uh, straw for that little pen there. That is insane. Well, at least we know where to put the calf when it comes. I saw the trigger and I thought, I know what, I originally thought I'm going to have to drive through and turn around, but then I thought, well, it's giving me the trigger here, so what's that for? It's for the pen and it definitely took more than what the five cows take, so that is interesting. But as you can see, using that makes things a lot easier. It really does. Interesting. That is definitely a lot of uh, straw. So let's just have a quick look, make sure everything's fine. It looks like it is. Breeding bull. Uh, young bull, sorry, the, the brown ones. Look happy. Got some feed, got some straw. Same with the breeding bull and the five black young bulls. So this is the breeding bull. He's obviously going to do us some business. Yeah, we will get to that in the next episode. I will leave that one for this episode. Probably focus on doing something else now. Keep checking on the insemination of the other cows. Definitely want to try and get that finished off. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go and move actually to field two. I'm going to go and harvest all the barley. I'm then going to put some of it in the grain dryer, if not most of it. So we can then take it to, uh, I think it's the malt factory. Or yes, it is. It's the malt factory. We'll take some of the dry grain there. And then what also I can do, instead of drying some of the barley, I'll take a little bit over to the grain mill and we'll try and make some whole grain. And that's the plan. Let's just quickly fizz it. And I'm sure if I remember, I can use whole grain, barley, and oats. Yeah, yeah, I can use wheat, barley, oats to make whole grain. So we can take some here and he can give us some whole grain and we'll use that to even make, put it into big bags to store for when we do the pig food. Or well, we can sell some, but I think we will store it this time around for pig food. So we need to definitely go and get some equipment for this. Um, I do need to get a harvester. Uh, probably a better trailer. I haven't really got a good trailer, I don't think, unless I forgot about it. But I'm sure I haven't. But these small ones, that's the one I just bought. So yeah, it looks like I definitely need to go and get some kind of trailer and a harvester. So we'll do that. I might even buy another big tractor, because why not? Um, so I'll get set up, and then I'll cut back in when we're ready to go. Right, so this is what I've gone for in the end. I've gone for a Deutsch Far harvester that I haven't actually used before, but I've had this mod a while. It looks really good. I think Deutsch Far is definitely the way to go on this farm, especially with where it's set, and also a bit of class as well. Won't go too far. So it is the C9300. If that means anything to anyone, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know much about Deutsch Far. I kind of nicknamed it the Power Ranger in my last Hoff Bergman series, so I'm going to probably continue with that. So I've gone with this, the bigger Power Ranger. It's the Deutsch Far Warrior. Um, it looks mint, really. Let's be honest. This is a awesome, absolutely awesome mod. Uh, I've gone with the big kind of like conveyor belt trailer in the back. 40,000 litres, definitely something that'll come in handy. Let's have a look in the cab. Yep, I like it. Sounds good as well. So we're going to obviously harvest in this field here, which is the barley. That tractor does sound good. I like it. So let's uh, get onto the harvester and we'll crack on with this. Hopefully it won't take too long, really. Got a good size header, 7 metres. I always, I'll be honest, I always worry, kind of mess that up. Yeah, I always worry about the trailers themselves, the headers. I've always found that the header never stays on. It's not the easiest thing to use. I wish that you could strap them, to be honest. That would be a lot easier. Save a lot of time in my other. It really would. You can see it's wobbling. It definitely doesn't look very secure. So let's unfold. And we'll get hooked up. So the plan's probably going to be... I'll start harvesting. I'm going to take the first small load. It's not going to be a full trail load. Up to the actual... mill so we can do some whole grain wanting to say whole crop but it's whole grain and then yeah the rest of it we're going to dry out and sell we can even try and take it up because if we have a quick look at the actual sell point you can see that we just go to 
Where are you? There you go. I found it in the end. I think I went past that about three times. So malt factory and obviously there, but we don't want to take any big bags. And that last time was a lot. Yeah, that was um, a better price. So this time it's swapped around. So malt factory, we take it there. And I think we also get spent grain. So we can actually get spent grain from that, which will be interesting. So yeah, let's crack on with it. We're all set up to go. And we'll do some harvesting in the dice farm. This is the only good thing that I can say about not using seasons. You pretty much start off and you can just crack on. Uh, but naturally, I always prefer, prefer to play with seasons, I think. Yeah, I couldn't go back. I really couldn't. Probably need to do some scanning of these fields as well at some point, but... We'll probably do that when we are growing our next crop, maybe. When we're planting, we'll do some scanning at the same time. Just have a quick look at the actual harvester itself and think if it. I do think it looks good. It's not bad. I am dropping the straw just because I think that's a custom straw texture. It looks a bit darker than normal. Maybe it is. Who knows? Kind of piled it up there. It'll be alright. I am going to drop the straw just because I think I might pick it up with a loading wagon and actually put it into the loose area just to show you how to do that at some point. Won't be in this episode, but I'll definitely do it at some point. Now, this is a big field. I, this is the problem with maps sometimes. You don't really understand how big these fields are, but I have actually worked in this field before. I should have remembered, but when you look at the actual size of it on here, it doesn't actually look that big. It definitely is. Now, the good thing about Hoff Bergman as well, uh, before the Maze Plus and the Horse Extension came out, this map already had the uh, Crop Destruction 2.0, as I call it. Um, yeah, so you can see that on the map itself, when it says harvested, it's actually doing crop damage to the, technically, the chopped crop. So the actual stalks that are left from the grain that you're obviously harvesting, it does leave the texture of um, the crop being damaged as, you, as you're rolling over it, which is obviously realistic. If, you do, if you're into that kind of stuff, that is definitely an added feature for the realism, so you can tick that box. But this map is definitely not Maze Plus compatible. Any Maze Plus mod on this map will really, uh, yeah, conflict, definitely. So you want to try and avoid even starting up with anything like CCM, Forage Extension, anything like that. Now, there's so many things in this map that a lot of modders have taken influence from, like the, the original calves were taking influence from this map for from Oxygen to Oxygen David's map. So I think Sandy Bay, he put it in first, and then obviously into Challington. Originally they were on Farmer Andy's Hofbergman. So yeah, a lot of these features have kind of come from Hofbergman because the honey as well, the bees and all that kind of stuff. I saw that on this map a long time um, ago. It feels like. Uh, and then all of a sudden Global Company were doing something similar, so it's, yeah, a lot of people take influence from what he does and what he brings to the table, so you're probably going to see soon some of the new features that we've been showing off today as well. And that actually reminds me, I haven't actually gone back and checked out the calves, so we should probably go and do that. But it's still going on, it's still cracking on, so what I'll do is I'll speed up time and you can actually see it progress. There you go, so you saw it pop over to this, and then it's obviously got the cross on its back. So we just need to pick it up, put it in the trailer, not turn the engine off. And then we can hopefully just reverse down, drop it off, pick up another one. Fill up the actual vial again, and uh, yeah, the, the vet will appear again magically. Out of nowhere. And we also want to bring in that. There we go. So it's probably best if you don't want to keep reversing around to just do a full loop. It really would. Right, there we go. Cow's just had a big moo. Right, what's going on? We'll leave him to it. And we'll carry on with this. So 
So what I'm going to do now, just so the video doesn't go crazy over, uh, I'm going to put a bit of a time lapse in, just so we can crack on with a bit of this. Probably, I don't know if I'll finish the whole field, but we want to get enough of it so we can see what goes on at the mill and also what goes on when we dry the, the grain out. just got to the green mill and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump off 10,000 litres of this barley into this little thing just over there you can see that's where we're going to try and aim for so we need to keep an eye on it so we don't go too far over and then make sure we stop probably about there And what you'll see up on there, you'll see how much is processing. If you go to this man as well, you can see in the bottom left corner there, it does say uh, 10,843 litres, which is 4% of what it can hold. Um, it's processing into whole grain. So we need to leave him, let him do his thing, um, and then eventually it will process into whole grain. But what we're going to do with this remaining 19,000 litres is we're going to go and turn it and dry it. And that's the aim anyway. Um, we will need to get some gas, basically some propane gas. You can do that by uh, purchasing it from the store. You can also make your own propane gas, but we'll have to get onto that probably in a later episode because we do need to get the uh, technically the raw materials to do that. Um, but it is an option. It can be done. Right, so let's crack on with drying this off. I am interested to do this. I haven't done this before. This is definitely a new feature for me on this map. Again we'll stick our head out the window. Don't think it happens as well on that side so I do like that feature. You can just stick your head out. 
definitely realistic. Right, so I'll leave it up there so we can properly get set up. Now, we do need some propane. We will need to put it in here. Um, so, biogas, but here's the propane. Um, and then, yeah, dry grain comes out of there. So we need to make sure we put it into here. Now, we could probably back that in. I don't know if it'd get in, maybe not. But what we will do is we'll get it hooked up to this bad boy, which is what it's here for. This electric thing will pretty much set the bottom of it to tip. We can line it up well. Make sure we unfold it as well. That'll be good. Now, there is a way of extending this out. I just can't remember the button. There we go. It's probably best to extend this out the most we can. There we go. I think that will just about maybe... That should work. And we can actually lower it down, which might make things a little bit easier. I don't know if it will go much further than that, but it has made it a little bit longer. Right, so what we want to do, I think, is turn this on. So if we just bring up the F1 menu, we can turn it on. So it says there, turn on 926VT-HK. There we go, we turned it on. Uh, we do need to buy some propane, so I'm going to spawn that in. I will quickly show you how to do that. Obviously, like I said, you can make it. You can also take it um, when we've made it. We, we do have to go make it at the BJ, but when you do make it, you can take it. The gas from there over here to the gas trader, and then he'll bottle it up for you. You get your bottles, you can bring them back here, or you can go and sell them. So that's another aspect, but we definitely will get to that at some point. But if you do want to buy them right now, you need to go to consumer goods, I think. And then there's a gas cylinder. So if we buy a couple of these, just to the minute, you can see this is what you're going to either make or sell or use, in fact. And you stick them in here. There we go. There's storage, but this one, we're not going to stick it there. We're actually going to connect it up because we do need it. So if we just stick it here, you can see that it automatically connects, which is pretty cool. You want to unfold that when you want to uh, unload, obviously. But we don't need to do that right now. What we need to do is turn on the grain dryer. But we need to put grain in first, so let's just quickly do that. We'll get a better angle. So we need to back it up. Now, this is why I've gone with a trail like this, I'll be honest. quite there are we there we go we've kind of like driven over it and there will be a really good trailer to do this in don't think we've uh, lined her up very well here let's try this again let's try and set up again so we've, uh, we've gone too far out Right, so it is absolutely empty in now, which is good, but we will need to keep an eye on it because it does move. But you can get it going. You probably need a smaller trailer. I've just gone with a bigger trailer than you probably should try and fit in here. Yeah, but it is working. As you can see, I'm unloading into this. It's uh, transferring it over here. You could use a different kind of, uh, obviously, conveyor belt kind of thing, and that would work as well. Yeah, but it is going in. And as you can see, that's going up. So all we'd need to do is turn it on which is what we're doing. So now it will start processing. Grain dryer is on. See the little animation. Um, and yeah, happy days. So we'll wait for it to unload. And probably what I'll do before I end the video is speed up a bit of time. I'll uh, probably have it sort out some more of the cows. So what I'll probably do is I'll speed up time, sort out the cows, um, also check on the whole grain, and also check on the grain. It's drying as well. So I've just finished off doing all the five cows that we need to inseminate. So they're all set up, so it's be interesting to see what happens with them going forward. So we'll have to wait it out for the calves. This is progressing quite well. It's done 10,000 litres, so it's pretty much halfway through what it had. 
um, and the bar gas as you can tell hasn't gone down that much 30% but we are gonna have to leave that but we'll do that in the next episode and sell that yeah, let's just go and have a quick look at the actual whole grain and see how that's getting on so it's processed 2600 you still got 8000 left if you can go up you can see so there is a lot of processing going on right now uh, but we will catch up with it in, in the next episode but yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on Farming Simulator. See ya.